uh, leave those there, and these here, which way are we going to bring these? Uh, really, they should be defending the coastline, shouldn't they? Uh, I think so. I think that one still needs to be moved as well, doesn't it? We're going to take Denmark soon. We should have enough men to be able to move on to places like Finland, so I don't want to be going that way. I think really, we just need to be coming back down south, don't we? Unless we're going to start thinking about moving across to Britain at some stage. Uh, we've got enough to take par take Madrid and move these over here? I think so. Yep, let's move them over this way. Uh, at least it means the uh, coastal areas are defended, doesn't it? And this army here, that hasn't moved yet. Oh gosh, look, there's another French fleet there, isn't there? What's in there? Won't tell me, but there's 122 guns there. Um, hmm, do I kick him out as well? My big worry is that they'll start coming around into the Mediterranean. Yeah, you know, because they've got Corsica around there, you see. Well, I don't want to end up fighting all of those fleets, do I, if I can help it? Um, maybe the time has come to attack Corsica, actually. Wipe out the French completely. Cause he's got some pretty big French fleets there, hasn't he? Um, yeah. Maybe come down towards Spain with these, I think. Yep, come down towards Spain with those. Lots and lots of spare troops hanging around, aren't there, really? What have we got here? And there. Yeah, they're on replenishment. And these as well. Uh, moderate replenishment rates. These are my guards, these, aren't they? They're still on only one chevron. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It really is. I'm trying to get them to get some decent chevrons up there. But as somebody says, it depends on the number of kills per number of men that you've got. So if your units take a lot of hits and make a lot of kills, that's when the uh, chevron rate will start to creep up, I think. So, OK, next turn end. Let's see what that one brings in. Oh, I don't know who they are moving into who, but just ignore that for now. These are the gentlemen. Oh gosh, there's going to be quite a lot of these, aren't there? Every one of them moving in line. <laughs> OK, that's the army of gentlemen complete and one or two spies. I might, like I said, edit some of those out so you don't have to watch all of those. Watching, what is it, eight or ten gentlemen all move from one place to another is uh, not really worth watching, I don't think. Not what you might say is quality viewing. I don't know what these are. Oh, that's the that's the fleet that I popped out into the English Channel. <laughs> the French want peace and they're prepared to pay me a thousand for it. Uh, I wonder if they can accept a protectorate. Quest alliance, trade embargo, breaking alliances, military access. No, there isn't anything, is there really? Um, no, sorry. Certainly not going to have peace with you. Who's this? War against Denmark. No, thank you. I don't want you taking Finland. Thank you very much. I think I can manage that on my own. I was preparing some troops to go down into Italy as well, wasn't I? I wonder what happened with that plan. Hmm, I forgot all about that. That's a Swedish gents there, heading towards my university, I presume. Trying to steal the research. That's the problem with keeping a, a university. I have doubts about that, whether I should keep it or not. Do I keep it for prestige purposes? Because I need to have a modern university? Or do I simply get rid of it? Yeah. I suppose the practical thing is simply to get rid, isn't it? Look at these. Right, OK, they're all the ones that, that uh, reinforce my areas around... Oh, we've got some around Alsace-Lorraine as well. I didn't know I was raising any around Alsace-Lorraine. Um, Strasbourg and Alsace-Lorraine. Hmm, maybe it's simply because it built these up into an army and I did it some time ago. just don't remember doing that now. But, uh, or maybe they were the ones that I was thinking about building up so that I can move off into Italy. I'm really not too sure, but they're in the right place, aren't they, really, to move south towards Italy. Uh, there's a Luzerne army as well. We are going to need to get rid of Bavaria as well. It's just going to be in my way. 
Maybe that's the target, really. Aim for Bavaria. Gosh, got all those troops in Vienna as well. <laughs> okay. What's he got in Bavaria? Looks like he's got one and a half armies, doesn't it, really? That's all. Okay. Got an army here as well. No, what's this? Yep. This one as well. God, I've got three armies, haven't I? If you include that one. Um. Hmm. Well, let's get some moving towards Bavaria and then on to Italy, I think. Uh, God, what have I got here? I've got some loads of troops here. Ten pounders and twenty pounders. It's the quickest way to Bavaria. He's blocking that bridge. That's not very clever, is it? Um, I think because he's blocking that bridge. And he's blocking that bridge. The only way really for me to get into Bavaria, if I do want to declare war on them, is going to be to go this way, isn't it? I think that might be the best way, actually, you know, as well. We can take it in one then, can't we? Maybe. Oh no, we can't. We can't get through there. How daft is that? Of course it's this, isn't it? Looks like we might have to attack him at the bridge first. Hmm. In fact, we could do it right now. We could take out Bavaria, probably now. Hmm, the supporting armies can't get there in time though, can they? Uh, let me see now. Bring them up to here, ready for the attack. And then do it next time, all in one. Might be a good idea. Are we on the border with Italy here? That piece. Uh, I can't release those troops from there, really, can I? Unless I back them up with these from here. Which I could do. Yeah, I think that would do it. OK, let's bring those to there. And put these on the border with Bavaria. Ready for a swoop on Bavaria next turn. How many more do I need in there? Five, is it? Can I recruit in here? Yeah, only three. One, two, three. Let's get the infantry up in there, shall we? Get a few more in there. Okay. They're strong enough, aren't they? Just in case they get a bit restless there. I don't think I can recruit anything decent here, can I? No, I can't. Well, I think that army's enough to defend it anyway. It's just not enough, really, to be you know, offensive. That's the thing. OK, let's see how we're doing up here in Denmark now. In terms of um, replenishing these troops. Uh, mm, they're still looking a bit sad, aren't they, really? If I put them on the ships, they'll stop replenishing as well, you see. So it's just not worth, it's not worth doing that. That's four turns away. So we're not really in a position to be able to defend it from these here, are we? I'm going to try sabotaging army again. That's maybe this one here. Oh good. Right. Okay, that means that we're safe from that army for a little while anyway. From any attacks he might want to launch this way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight in there now, and of course a fortress. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven. But one of them's Opal Chenya in there. I could move some some from here. Uh, well, three in each place maybe. If I can get three to there, yes, I can. Three to there. Okay, and maybe three to there. Okay, that's looking quite sizable now, isn't it? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in there, and then twelve in there. So, yeah, I, I think that's enough now to hold, or rather, contain that army there, isn't it? Really, I think. Um, I mean, only one of them can move now as well, so that's looking a bit smart. Uh, it's what I do now with these here. Um, I've got freedom of movement in there, but it's not a protectorate, so I wouldn't um, be replenishing while I'm in there. I am going to have to stand these here for a bit longer, I'm afraid. Can't see whatever else I can do really with that. I need to sort of allow those armies to build a bit, really.